Hello there, Toons fans. Welcome back to yet another video, and I know you've been waiting a while for this one. As you all can see, what's pulled on the screen right now is my very own book series. The series is called The Baldy Family Tragedies series, and this is season one, book one of that series. So, this is basically a series based off of some of the characters from the YouTube channel you guys have seen. TBFT for short. And just a warning guys, if anyone watching this is under the age of 13 or 18, please turn away. This story is meant to be dark and carry out the most worst turn of events of the Baldy family. This basically shows that in this AU, this is the reason Baldy became the way he is today. He also has a family. Alrighty y'all, let's get into such spooky story. Just remember, if you don't like this, it's fine. You can check out my other content. But, everyone's been wanting this for a while, so. This is... Okay, you guys want to read it? Or check out the wiki? Here's the wiki. If you guys want to read it, I'll put the link in the description below. So without further ado, please sit back, relax, and enjoy such spooky tale. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Let's just get into the story, guys. <clears throat> Diary insert, March 19th, 1997. It's been years since I've gotten through things. Things that I feel like, well, I should describe. Things that, well, have caused enough trouble since that horrible incident. Damn, I hated every second of hearing about it. I wish I never had to. Steve speaks with more tears than ever, wanting to forget the day of his wife's death. I wish I could have stopped it, but there, but the more I think about it, the more it gets me feeling sad, angry, depressed, and hurt. Steve sighs and walks back to his place. The moon is out in this hour, and here town is starting to look empty and lifeless. It can be very eerie when everyone is at home. While Steve is all out here, is out here, all alone, in the dark. Steve finally makes his way back to his house, turns his key, and opens the door. Baldy is near the door, and he speaks, Hi, Dad. Welcome back. Steve looks over at Baldy, and then walks past him saying nothing as he enters the house. Steve doesn't want anything to do with Baldy, and always blames him about the death of his wife. Wife. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Mainly because the day Jane died was the same day as Baldy's birthday. Also, because she went to get Baldy a gift, but failed to return doing so. I'll be away in my room, you all. Don't bother me, please. Steve made his way to his room, now laying down on his bed. Why must bad things happen? Steve closes his eyes and drifts off to sleep. Diary insert. June 13th, 1998. Dear Diary, it seems like after a year now, I'm feeling a lot better. I got my rest finally, and I'm ready to move on. But first, I'm going to head to the donut shop for a coffee and some donuts. Steve walks out of the house and down the streets of Heartown. Many people are walking around and going into stores, restaurants, shops, and more. Steve feels refreshed and reaches his destination. He walks in, waiting in line. As the line gets shorter, it is now Steve's turn to order something. He walks up to the counter and waves to someone saying, Hello there, I would like one coffee and a box of donuts, please. 
Steve smiles politely. The owner of the donut shop then says, Shh, that, Sure thing, sir. That will be $10, please. Steve hands her the money and goes to the table to sit down. He looks out the window, watching the people outside. This feels so nice to be here. It feels great to be away from the house. Soon the donut shop owner walks up to him with a big smile and hands him a coffee while placing a big box of donuts on the table. Here you go. Hope you enjoy, she says with a smile. Thank you, Steve says as well. He takes a sip of his coffee. Steve is feeling very refreshed and happy as he eats some of his donuts. You're quite welcome, sir. It's what we do here after all. She spoke to Steve, then waves at him and walks away. While Steve is eating, someone walks in the door. Someone wearing black pants and a navy blue uniform with a tie. They walk up to the donut shop owner and ask in a deep voice, May I have a f have four large boxes of donuts with a large mocha cappuccino? Oh, and don't forget the cupcakes and the cookies. The donut shop owner then looks shocked. Someone would order so many things. She then says, That's a lot of stuff. Are you sure you want that much? They then stare at her saying, Oh yes, I think I'm fine with what I want. He smiles a large toothy grin afterwards. She's still wondering if it's okay. But just shrugs off saying, Okay, then is that all? He nods and waits to pay. Steve is waiting and watching all this at and wonders about the situation. Ha, huh, that guy is strange, but why do they look so oddly familiar? Steve is thinking about it, if he should watch or stay away. But something makes him want to sit and watch anyways. After the guy pays, he walks around to find a table. He then sees Steve sitting down and stops in front of his table. Steve stares back at him, wondering why he stopped in front of his table. The guy stares at Steve and smiles, not saying a single word. Steve then speaks up. Who are you? Why do you look like I've seen you before? The guy just smiles again, but then he speaks up. Hello there, I'm Stefan. And you are? Steve then says, I'm Steve. Nice to meet you. I also used to have a friend with that same name. Stefan's eyes widen as he realized what Steve just said. He then says, well, that's pretty cool. I bet they were your best friend, right? Steve nods. Right. Stefan chuckles and then says, That's good. Have you seen them often? Something about this conversation felt off. And Steve was wondering what it was. Suddenly, Stefan speaks again. I'm guessing that's a no, right? Steve nods again and feels sad. He remembered the time he used to spend with his old friend. He remembered it all. I haven't seen them in a while. Steve puts his head down and tries not to cry about his past. Stefan walks up to him and says, It's okay. I understand. I also used to have a friend, just like you. Stefan speaks. Again. You know, I'm glad I've met you. Most people I've seen are scared of me. They say I'm mean, scary, or just horrible. You are the first person that hasn't been mean to me. You are the only person that is like my old friend. Steve continues staring at Stefan. In his mind, he was thinking about what was happening right now. Steve then gets a flashback of his old memories while staring at Stefan. He then takes a look at Stefan and says, Stefan, do I know you? No way, you used to be my best friend when I was in elementary school, right? How do I know you? Steve was so shocked by what was happening now. He could tell this was the same person he had met. They sounded the same, acted the same, and looked the same. Could it really be him? Stefan walks away, waving bye to Steve. And Steve looks at his watch. Look out. No, wait. Look at the time. I should really get be going. Steve walks out of the donut shop and down the road. As he did, he passed Baldy's schoolhouse. Baldy walks outside seeing his dad, shouting, Hiya, Dad! I've been teaching class and taking care of the school like I was told. 
Steve then says, That's great, Baldy. I never thought I'd see you be able to maintain everything so good, especially a schoolhouse I gave you 19 years ago. It's good you finally take things seriously for once. Baldy smiles. He felt so happy to get his dad's approval for once in his life. He felt like things were going to be different from now on, and that his dad had finally forgave him. Although, he didn't do it. He always did get blamed for it in the past. Baldy then says, Why, thank you. I put a lot of hard work into my job. I'm glad I could be appreciated for it. So much time and work goes into things I care about, and things I plan out beforehand. After Baldy says that, he speaks again. Well, I gotta get to work now. The students can't learn without their teacher now, can they? Ha ha ha! Baldy walks back to his school, waving back to his dad. See you later, he says. Steve just stood there and watched as his son went back into the school. Yeah, see ya, son. Have a great day at work. I know it's good, but you know what I mean. Steve then walks up to his house, unlocking the door. He walks in and locks it, and then walks into the living room, turning on the TV. After a few hours of lounging and watching TV, Steve stretches and yawns, looking at the time. The clock reads 8 o'clock p.m. Steve gets up off the couch and heads to his room. He lays down in his bed to get some rest. Steve is now dreaming, but suddenly hears a noise. Ark! Damn it! Steve wakes up hearing loud yelling in the other room upstairs. Who's making all that noise? I'm trying to sleep. Steve yells as he goes to the room with the source. Sorry. <sighs> Damn it. Sorry. Source of the loud noise. He walks up to Felix's room and slams the door open. What the hell is going on in here? Steve yells. Felix was once again yelling at his game. This annoyed Steve to make him unplug Felix's PC. Felix did not like this and yells. yells hey, what the fuck was that for? You ruined my Minecraft session! Felix screams as Steve unplugs the computer. What the hell, dude? Felix, I told you to stop yelling, and besides, you need to stop playing this damn Minecraft game. If you're going to keep yelling, I'm going to, while I'm trying to sleep. Felix then says, But Dad, I was almost finished with my build. Steve interrupts saying, And I told you to be quiet or else I would unplug it. Felix speaks up. It's not fair. It's my favorite game! Steve is looking more angry now as he says, You should have thought about that before you yelled. No more Minecraft, Felix. Steve then takes Felix's PC and walks out of the room. He places Felix's PC where he can't get to it and walks back to his room. Sheesh, Felix anymore, I swear. Steve then lies down and closes his eyes. Hopefully Steve can get some sleep now. Steve's sleep is interrupted by the sounds of a loud bang coming from Felix's room. Steve groans as he gets up out of bed and walks and makes his way over to Felix's room. He opens the door to see Felix screaming and swearing in front of his gaming computer. Felix! Stop that right now! Wait a sec. How did you get that back? Steve looks very angry right now due to not getting any sleep. You're supposed to be playing on your... You're not supposed to be playing on your PC. Felix looks at Steve with a smug grin and responds, You didn't notice how I had plugged it back in. Well, unplug it now. Steve yelled back at Felix. Felix rolled his eyes as he reached his arm out to unplug the computer from the wall. He then looked at his dad, Steve, as he said with anger, How about you leave me and my computer out of your business? Steve then yells again, Get off your game right now, or else I swear. I'm almost finished with my game. Just let me play for a few more minutes, and I will get off. Felix yells back. Steve doesn't listen and yells back at Felix. No, you're done playing this game. Now get off of your game. I'm not joking. If you don't get off now, I promise you will regret it. Steve yells in the loudest voice he can. Felix doesn't get off right away, even though he knows he has to. Steve walks over to the computer plug and pulls it out of the wall. Felix glares at Steve, and Steve once again grabs the PC and turns off the Wi-Fi. <laughs> 
After that, he places the PC on a high shelf and walks back to his room, laying down and finally going to sleep. Felix sighs and also walks back to his room. He is upset that his father turned off the Wi-Fi. He lays down in his bed and falls asleep. Oh my god. Comedy. One year later. Diary insert. April 3rd, 1999. Dear Diary, today had been perfect. I was all ready for tonight. My childhood friend was going to be coming over to hang out. I have everything planned, and it's been so long since we saw each other. I even planned a big party to celebrate. Steve had been waiting for this, so he walked outside, got into his car, and drove off to the store to buy party supplies. Now let's see, where could the party aisle be? Steve walks around the store looking for the things he needs to plan his party. Steve looks at the party supplies. He can't... F looks for the party supplies. He can't find them. He keeps looking more around more and is getting frustrated as the minutes pass. He eventually finds the party aisle and grabs everything he'll need for the party. Perfect! Someone then bumps into him. Steve bumps into Steve, knocking him down and the party supplies onto the ground. Ouch! Steve rubs his head in pain. Oh my god, I'm so sorry! A voice yelled to Steve. He then looked up at who had knocked him down. It was that one girl from the donut shop. I'm, I'm really sorry for doing that to you, sir. She feels sorry that she knocked Steve down. Steve gets back up and dusts his pants. And then he then says, It's okay. I know you didn't mean it. Don't worry about it, okay? After hearing him, she then says, well, that's a relief. For a second there, I thought you'd be mad. Anyways, hi, my name is Toons. I work at the donut shop. I am also the owner, but I assume you already know that, right? Steve then says, Oh, hey, it's it's all right. I'm Steve. Nice to meet you, Toons. Oh, you're the owner? I knew you worked there, but I didn't know you were the owner, too. It's also always so great to meet the owner. So, what are you doing in this store? Toon smiles and says, Oh, I'm just here to pick something up for my friend. I'm on break today. Steve wonders who this friend could be and asks, Oh, okay, may I ask? Who's your friend? And what kind of things are you buying? Toon then says, My friend is Baldy. I'm buying him some apples. But while you were... But while you were walking, I bumped into you by accident. Steve is surprised by this. Oh, but while you were walking, I bumped into you by accident. Oh, Baldy is your friend. That's very cool. You know Baldy, too? He came into the shop the other day. I think he needed to talk to you because you weren't there. But he needed to tell you something. Hmm. I wonder what it was. Oh, I'm so sorry for getting in your way. While you were... Oh, I'm so sorry for getting in your way, too, while you're trying to get apples for Baldy. Toon stands there smiling and then says, It's okay, after all, I was the one to bump into you. Ha <laughs> ha. She then realized what she said before that, and then says, Wait a sec, you know Baldy. Steve smiles and then says, Yes, I do know Baldy. I am his dad, after all. Is that a big surprise? Steve laughs. Toons is now surprised as well and says, Oh my god, no way! You're Baldy's father? Wow, why didn't he tell me? But it makes sense because the way he talked about you sounded like a father and son. Wow, I had no idea. Wow. Wow, you didn't know Baldy was my son? Now I feel pretty bad, to be honest. I thought you would have known. Steve chuckles, trying to lighten the mood. May I ask why Baldy doesn't talk about me and how he's talked about me? And so concludes pages 1 through 5, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. If you liked this video, please put a like. Let us know you like this kind of content. And hit subscribe, please. Turn on the bell for more notifications. Even though sometimes my videos post really, really late. I'm sorry for that. Also, I'm sorry for getting all tongue-twisted and everything. Um, don't know what the heck is the matter with me just woke up i guess i don't know anyway um i will see you guys later in the next video 
And I hope you all have a great day. And see you all later. Bye.